Okay, now let's look at the role of microorganisms in nitrogen cycle. So this is a figure showing the nitrogen cycle. Okay, do you still remember that nitrogen is one of the most important element uh, that is needed by the plants, right? Uh, so plants, they require this nitrogen to synthesize protein uh, because one of the element which uh, forms protein is nitrogen. So nitrogen is very essential for the plants. They require nitrogen to synthesize protein in their tissue and that this nitrogen is of from the soil in two forms dalam dua bentuk okay, yaitu ammonium ions okay, ini adalah dia punya uh, chemical formula and H4 plus sebab dia adalah ions okay, so this is positive ions uh, and another one is nitrate ions yaitu um, NO3 negative okay, jadi ini adalah uh, N ion lah kan okay, tadi cat ion so how can this nitrogen gas ya uh, from the atmosphere okay kita sudah belajar ini about 78% of um, the air the mixture of air 70% daripada campuran udara itu uh, comprises of the nitrogen gas so how can this nitrogen gas be converted into the forms that can be used by the plants uh, so that means bagaimana dia boleh convert kepada bentuk ions ini dan selepas itu boleh diguna pakai oleh tumbuhan untuk um, synthesis protein okay so therefore we need to know about this nitrogen cycle okay so here um, kita Balik pada tajuk, it says here the role of microorganisms. Jadi kita akan lihat peranan. Okay, what are the microorganisms and also their role um, that is in this nitrogen cycle uh, that helps the plant eventually they are able to absorb the nutrients lah. Okay, first kita ada nitrogen fixing bacteria. Nitrogen fixing bacteria yang ada pada the root nodules of the legumes like the rhizobium species. Okay, rhizobium species ini adalah contoh nitrogen fixing bacteria in the root nodules of the legumes ataupun tumbuhan ke kacang. Okay, di sini ya. Okay, so this is it. Okay, dan satu lagi adalah free living nitrogen fixing bacteria which you can find uh, find it in the soil and that's azotobacter species okay maksudnya nitrogen fixing bacteria ini yang satu adalah uh, didapati pada the root nodules tumbuhan pokok ke kacang dan satu lagi free living which is in the soil okay so ada nama dia dan juga contoh telah diberi so these two type of uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria ini their role is to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere okay and then change it convert it to ammonium ions nh4 plus itu okay and this process of changing it to become this ammonium ions process itu kita panggil sebagai nitrogen fixing process okay boleh ya so i put here one a and one b one ini sebab dia adalah kumpulan nitrogen fixing bacteria okay uh, ada dua lah. And then uh, the process, nitrogen fixing process. Okay, so tally, senang untuk kita ingat. Okay, second is, this one is a natural phenomenon lah, lightning. Okay, lightning in the thunderstorm. It's going to oxidize nitrogen in the air to become nitrogen dioxide. Okay, kalau dia cakap oxidize, to that, so that means uh, element oxygen itu ditambah kepada nitrogen, so therefore become nitrogen dioxide, NO2, which then dissolves in rainwater. Kalau rainwater tu, we know that it's H2O. So eventually, what do you get? You get nitrous acid, H. H2 datang daripada rainwater over here. So you get this HNO2 and also nitric acid, which is HNO3. Okay, so both form nitrate salts in the soil. Okay, nitrate salts. Uh, so that's the second um, second mode lah kan, apart from the, the role of the nitrogen fixing bacteria just now. 
okay the second mode where oxygen sorry when nitrogen is being converted to nitrate form okay there is also the third mode which is through industrial fertilizers okay daripada ini adalah baja buatan okay industrial fertilizers yang ada ammonium fertilizers and also nitrates uh, uh, in the soil yang akan the, uh, those that will provide this type of uh, nutrients that are needed lah in the form of ammonium and also nitrates so ada tiga cara di sini how nitrogen is uh, able to be converted into the the ion form okay Next one, okay, I put here number two is that we are going to look at the second type of bacteria. Okay, uh, microorganisms kan kita lihat peranan itu. So, when plants and animals die, apabila mati uh, tumbuhan dan juga haiwan, apa yang akan berlaku adalah decomposition, iaitu proses penguraian. Okay, so decomposition is carried out by decomposers lah. Okay, pengurai. Kumpulan pengurai, who are they? They are the bacteria. They are the fungi, the saprophytic fungi. Remember saprophytes? Those are the, the organisms that feed on dead, dead decaying matter. Okay, kumpulan pengurai. Okay, so what will this group of microorganisms do is that they are going to decompose. Nah, yang sudah mati itu dia akan uraikan where the protein in the body tissues, the dead ones lah kan, it will be broken into ammonium ions and uh, this is through the process known as ammonification lah. Okay, process dia di sini adalah decomposition. But then when protein is being broken into ammonium ions, uh, kita panggil ammonifikasi, ammonification. Okay, now coming to the third group ya. Eh? Where ammonium ions are converted into nitrite ions. Nitrite ions, NO2 negative, and this process is called nitrification. Okay, so siapa yang buat, uh, which group of bacteria, those are the nitrifying bacteria, ataupun uh, ada contoh diberi di sini, nitrosomonas species. Okay, so this is it, nitrosomonas species. Okay, just now here the decomposers. Now we have the nitrosomonas species as the nitrifying bacteria that is going to convert the ammonium ions into nitrite ions. Okay, I put here 3A. There's another one, 3B, because there is another nitrifying bacteria. Lanjutan daripada nitrite ions just now is going to be converted to nitrate ion, NO3 negative. Okay, juga daripada kumpulan nitrifying bacteria and the example is given and that's the nitrobacter species. Okay, 3B. So, kumpulan ketiga. Okay, next is that the nit nitrates will then be absorbed by the plant roots and uh, the plants is going to make use of it lah to synthesize proteins. Uh, dia punya aim itu. Plants needs all this um, nitrogen. Okay, dan dia boleh, hanya boleh absorb in the form of nitrates and also ammonium ions, right? And then now it is making use of it to, to synthesize proteins. Okay, so when the plants are then eaten by animals, uh, that's how those animals get uh, nitrogen daripada situ. Uh, okay, and I put here number four, this one is Group 4 uh, of uh, microorganisms, kita ada denitrifying bacteria. Dan contohnya adalah Pseudomonas species that is going to convert nitrates in the soil back to nitrogen gas. And that process is known as denitrification process. Uh, look here, kita boleh sebenarnya boleh buat grouping seperti ini. Uh, the, the types of microorganisms, um, the one which is green in color, those are the name of the processes. Okay. Then, uh, this table maybe can show you a more systematic 
uh, grouping where you can see the types of microorganisms with their respective role in the nitrogen cycle. Okay, just now we said this, the, the, the yellow ones, the nitrogen fixing bacteria. Okay, 1A and 1B, this is it. 1A and 1B. Okay, one which is found at the leguminous root nodules, and that's rhizobium species. Okay, ada juga yang free um, living in the soil, which uh, the examples is azotobacter species. Okay, so nampak dia punya peranan lah, what they do. Okay, these are the roles. Okay, we also have the nitrifying bacteria, nitrosomonas species, and also nitrobacter species. Uh, convert ammonium ions to nit nitrites and then convert nitrites to nitrates respectively. Okay, kita juga ada denitrifying bacteria, that's the pseudomonas species, which eventually is going to convert nitrates back to nitrogen gas uh, uh, di atmosfera lah. Okay, dan juga kita ada kumpulan saprophytes or the decomposers, kumpulan pengurai yang ada terdiri daripada bakteria pengurai dan juga fungi ataupun kulat where they feed on dead decaying matter and it's going to release ammonia.